This is Dr. JFM at Stanford presenting the case of a 58-year-old male patient with an incidental finding of a clival mass compatible with clival chordoma. We can see the close relationship of the tumor with the ICA and the sixth nerve. And this is the key anatomy to be reviewed in this case. We start the case by performing a transclival approach surrounding the tumor completely. We have removed all abnormal bone inferiorly and laterally to the tumor. Now we proceed with opening the capsule of this tumor, aiming to remove the extradural portion of the tumor first. Our goal, whenever possible, is to perform a supratotal tumor resection with clean margins. We are now all the way down to the level of the dura of the clavel region. And I'm going to make sure before going intradural that all the extradural tumor invasion has been removed, including the bone and the outer layer of dura, as you can see here being removed. Now that all the extradural tumor is gone, even with margins, we're going to the intradural portion of the operation. We can see the small dural penetration that the tumor created, and we have to greatly expand this to perform a safe tumor resection. The basilar artery can be appreciated to the left of the tumor. And we proceed with careful micro dissection of the tumor away from the basilar. We can see the origin of the anterior inferior cerebellar artery. The tumor is quite solid and is not sackable, so we have to remove it in a piecemeal fashion until it becomes smaller. I use an arachnoid plane to carefully separate the tumor from the ICA and from other perforating branches from the basilar artery. These perforating branches are always at the greatest risk with this operation. And finally, you're gonna start mobilizing the tumor from lateral to medial and from inferior to superior. It's being completely dissected off the vessels and it can be removed and blocked. You can now appreciate the deformation of the pons caused by the tumor. We are extracting this large piece of tumor through the nasal cavity. And we now proceed to identify the location of clear nerve 6 on the right side. I'm going to proceed to examine where there are any tumor remnants. We look superiorly. This arachnoid looks a bit suspicious, so I gently remove part of it and it's going to be sent to the pathologist as a margin. We can see the third nerve superiorly between the PCA and the SCA. We also send dural margins to the pathologist. Once they're confirmed negative, we proceed with the reconstruction. This is done in multiple layers. First, an inlay layer of a durogen that has to be placed in a near watertight fashion. Then we use a facelara graft. This is placed in an only fashion covering all the skull base defect and is bolstered with a fat graft that occupies the clival recess. And finally we place an extended nasocetal flap and we use ICG to confirm that there is good vascular supply on the pedicle of the flap and this is key for a successful reconstruction. We finally secure the septal flap with layers of surgical, framing the contour of the nasoceptal flap. This is the post-operative marea at three months. Patient had a supertotal resection with confirmed negative margins. He developed a partial six nerve palsy that has completely recovered at three months, but no other complications with an excellent recovery and plans for radiotherapy. Thank you.